All right, so if you want to learn kit swap, this is the video for you, and I promise you now, you will walk away from this video knowing how to kit swap. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is find your image, and once you have your image, all you need to do is cut out your player. It's that simple. Then once it's all cut out, you want to kind of get rid of all the sponsors. The best tool for this is the stamp tool, or you can just use Content Aware for as you see on the clip right now. It's so easy. It's like magic, and even AI. AI helps you a lot with it now. It's it's oh, it's magical. Some bits you need to take your time on because it can really mess up your design. But persevere with it, keep doing it, and it will come. Right, so once you've got a blank canvas of the kit, all you want to do is get rid of the arms and the face. So you've just got the kit. So anything you clip will be on the kit. You'll understand what I mean soon. See, if you see here now, it's just the kit and the arms. You don't need the arms, you will be changing nothing on the arms or face, so don't worry. Next, you'll need to drag in the kit that the player is going to be moving to or rumoured to. Just make sure you don't lose any details on the kits when you're cutting them out. You can be lazy and press remove background, but if it's white, it will remove some of the white on the kit. So just be careful with what you're doing. You can see me here getting all the detail back in. The best thing to do to make make it match towards the player is go onto puppet, uh, puppet Warp and just have a play around with it until it fits the way you like it. You can see me here just struggling a little bit, but... I forgot to clip it, so make sure it is clipped. I also forgot to say, if you lower the human saturation on the original kit of the player, make a duplicate of it black and white, change it to overlay, you'll have all the details of the other kit. So the way the, the other kit sat on him will sit on the kit that you're putting on top, if you get what I mean. Just trust me about this, it makes the kit look so much better. All right, so next we're moving on to the collars. Again, it's just rinse and repeat. Puppet warp, puppet warp it till it fits perfectly. And it's just rinse and repeat. This is the best way to do kit swap at the minute. If you do notice that the middle bit is looking a bit harsher, like the edges look a bit harsher, just go around a bit brush and just fade it in. And sooner or later, you'll just, it, oh, it will look so perfect. So satisfying making these. It's generally really, really entertaining to make kit swaps. So with the collar, all you need to do is remove the middle and you'll see what I do in this. All you have to do is remove the middle, puppet warp it onto it and it drops accordingly. Again, erase anything that looks too sharp. But apart from that, we're done. It, the kit is on. The next thing you want to do is add shadows and highlights to the kit so it looks like it's actually in the photo. But after that, literally play around with it, add shadows, highlights and then put your camera or filter on. And look at that, you've done a kit swap. For people thinking a kit swap is so hard, trust me, after a few years, and not even that, after a few months of doing it, you'll understand it, it's so easy. But yeah, just put time and effort into it, and you'll get there, guys, and I promise you that now. I really want to see what you cook up with after this video. So if you join the Discord, it's called Football Design Core, there'll be a link in the description. Send me what you have made. I want to see everyone's. Another thing before I leave this video, I'm going to be making a new series where I fix your designs. If you want to be a part of that, just go into the Discord and send your designs. Trust me, you'll want to be there because I enjoy helping out the community. But yeah, thank you guys for nearly 6k. That's mental, by the way. 6k nearly. It actually means a lot. And this is my first time ever doing a voiceover video. So it's really weird for me. I normally am used to doing speed arts. We'll start speed arts because some people prefer it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And peace. Love you guys, Steph. <laughs>